name at the big depot, big Northline depot, dodging uh, forklifts and huge trucks. I'm about to pick up my batteries. Hopefully they'll fit in the car. So uh, yeah, lots of big trucks about and all sorts of things, but uh, wonder what they're going to think when they try and get them into my old Merc. I mean, if it's going, if the batteries are going to fit in the Capri, they must fit in the Merc. They must. They gotta. Real right? Find out real soon. Well, that's how big that is. I'm just videoing this for my website. These are my batteries for my electric car. Yeah, so, uh, aren't they small? Yeah, we'll make them fit. That'll work. You're not real confident looking. I'm not really confident. <laughs> well, shit. All right, cool. How to fit all that into that. Let's get busy. Guess what? It wasn't all of those batteries because I recognized there was someone else's name on them. They weren't mine, they were another guy's. One lot, nice and easy. The other lot. So uh, maybe I should look at the paperwork and just see if what I signed for is what I got. Hmm, that might be handy. And I've got a couple of nice boxes as well. All in all, everyone wins. There are half of my batteries. I'll be using 45 of these little guys. And uh, and when I can figure out how to get them out, I'll show you. They're actually slightly tapered. So uh, that's probably why I can't get it out. Not that I'm weak as piss or anything. Aha! 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 That's a major part of... Uh, hoping the box is a major part of it. I definitely deserve a cup of tea after that. The moment we've all been waiting for. A man and his batteries. They're here. They're heavy and they're sharp on the corners. Ouch. They're real. They're the Thundersky LFP 90 AHA battery. Brought to you by Thundersky. They're yellow. They're brick like. They say. Thunder sky on the side. They've got this pretty little zappy thing in the top. And, uh, oh, and they've got a little barcode there. See, barcode, which is good. It suggests they have some form of quality control. That's handy to know. Let me, let me tell you about these things, okay? Because uh, I get a lot of emails about, tell me about the batteries. Does it this, does it that? What batteries are you using? For those who haven't seen episode three, which is, I think, where I pulled the motor out of the car with Inertia Man. Let me tell you about the batteries. These are called Thundersky LFP 90 AHAs. LFP is short for Lithium Ion Phosphate. I guess it's an abbreviation of LIFEPO4, I think. 45 of these, they're 3.2 volts each. I've got 45 of them. 45 times 3.2 equals, yes, 144 volts. Thank you. So that's what's gonna power the car. These things, I'm told, I can expect them to last about 
seven years. After about 2,000 charge cycles, I'm told to expect them to drop to about 80% of their full charge capacity. After about 3,000 charge cycles, they're likely to drop to about 70% of their full charge capacity. Um, that I can live with because in about seven or eight years when I've just completely run these completely kaput, batteries will be cheaper and petrol will be rarer than polar bears. There's one now. The reason I decided to go with these lithium ion batteries was generally they give out twice the power for half the weight. Now you have a gross weight issue with your car, after you've converted it to electric you've got to make sure that it's not too heavy to get registered. Now I want to keep the four seat capacity of this car. If I just wanted to give up two of the seats I could chuck another 170 kilograms or that many pounds in the car and count it as two passengers. I want to keep all four seats so I've got to make sure that I don't go over too much the uh, normal vehicle's weight. Now I haven't taken out the engine or the exhaust, a whole bunch of other little bits of metal associated with it, the petrol tank, uh, some metal in the floor, the air boxes, the EFI, the all those bits and pieces, I've lost a whole bunch of weight. I've put some weight back into the front, but not nearly enough to make up the difference. 45 of these will come within about 20 kilos of making up the difference. This car, I reckon, from figuring it out, it's gonna work out to be around about 35 kilograms lighter than original once I've put it all back together. I hope. Anyway, let's talk about these batteries. The reason I chose these batteries is because A, they'll last seven or eight years. B, they can actually put out normally three times their rated capacity. This is a 90 amp hour battery, but if I put my foot down, I can pull 270 amps out of it without the batteries complaining or exploding. And if I really, really wanted to, on an impulse, like a little moment in time like that, these batteries, without exploding, will put out 10 times their capacity. The way that they abbreviate that when they're writing up in the white papers on them is 3C, that is a battery that will give out three times its current rating, or 10C, 10 times its current rating. That's pretty hefty, that's pretty amazing. The uh, batteries that don't vent, that won't explode when you pull 10 times their capacity out of them on a quick little impulse, and that last seven or eight years with the proper battery management system. Yeah, it kind of sounds a bit better to me than using big, heavy, old technology, hydrogen venting lead acid batteries. So there's the difference. The car's lighter, it's gonna be quicker. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be quick, little kind of showpiece, little cool car. If it's bogged down with half a ton of lead acid batteries, it's not gonna impress anybody. So, that's why I chose these batteries. Where did I get them from? Look up Thunder Sky distributors on the internet. You'll find a distributor. I used a mob in Perth called EV Power. And uh, the guy over there, Rod, has been driving with these batteries for about 10 or 15,000 Ks in his little electric converted car. So, yeah. I guess the guy who imports them and uses them is happy with them. That's a pretty good ad. I'll buy that for a dollar. Los amarillos baterías es muy bueno hoy día. Para el auto es electría. Electri... 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 Hey, cheese, eh, bro? These batteries are fully suck, eh?
<laughs> bueno, baterías. Hey, China, these batteries, they're fully okay, hey. That's what I'm telling you. They're really top-notch quality, China. Mmm. Battery, bike, bike, bagus. You may be wondering how the electric car is going to be powered. Get yourself a load of these. A stylish little battery made by Thunder Sky. Sizzling sausages, I always say. Yo tenemos baterías muy bueno, amarillo y duro. Si, si. Mmm. Muy rico. Para mi auto eléctrica. Hmm.